Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am going to be showcasing some new paints. Yay! And let me tell you something, these paints are magnificent in color. Um, I know some of you have probably seen her on Facebook. She does a giveaway once in a while. Her name is Ashley and she is through the company called Perfetto Paints. And, you know, she goes on and does these live videos and gives away some cool stuff. So, I got some of their paints and I wanted to try them out in an acrylic pour. I've done some research on them uh, to tell you guys exactly what they are. And I decided I'm going to do two videos to demonstrate what they can do in an acrylic pour and what they can do in a resin pour. Today is going to be the acrylic pour. The colors that I am using today are deep purple. And I wanna show you guys these colors up close because they're really beautiful. This is like a color shift. It's almost, it's got a blue highlight or low light really really pretty color and then this one has to be my favorite the peacock blue it is amazing to die for stunning color they are water-based the metallic paints um, they have several diff they have a lot of different products. They have micas, they have um, dispersion and universal tints. Dispersions and the universals are kind of similar to the highly concentrated Liquitex brand. Um, trying to think if I have one here somewhere. I don't, but it's either Golden or Liquitex or both. They sell a really concentrated pigment where you literally only need a couple of drops of this stuff. And this is working the same way as that does. This is a universal, this is dispersion. There is tons, there's information on their website, which I will link in the box below. It's very easy, metallicmart.com. And, um, it's like, I mixed this up here. This is the phthalo green, and I used like three drops of the stuff. It's very strong. Prices are very economical. The micas, I cannot wait to show you. They have, actually with their micas, they have four different gradient sizes, meaning the size of the actual flake. It goes from super, super fine to larger size colors. And those I'm going to show you in the resin video because they don't belong in here. So right now, we're going to concentrate on doing an, an acrylic pour. Now, what I did for you guys was I mixed the paints two different ways. The universal and dispersion colors which are the phthalo blue and the phthalo green. One of them I used Floetrol, one I did pouring medium to see if you needed to add more. I wanted to see, because I know with uh, pouring medium, you li literally only need a couple drops. So I wanted to try those colors with Floetrol because I know a lot of you use Floetrol and it was pretty much the same. A couple of drops and I got the natural color. A nice deep green. This is the Floetrol one. This cup, two ounce cup, is filled half. So it's about an ounce worth of Floetrol to three drops of the dispersion. And then this here is the Thalo Blue mixed in with uh, pouring medium and again three drops so and to be honest with you I could have probably got away with two drops the rest of the paints the deep purple peacock blue those are mixed with 
pouring medium, so is my gold. The gold is not theirs. The gold is just a folk art brand. I wanted a, a different color. And the white that I'm using is also a different brand. It's Artist Loft. So I mixed them up as far as the actual metallic paints go. I used 75% pouring medium and 25% paint. You do not need a lot of paint. They are very pigmented and a little goes a long way. So that's another good quality. So my plan is to pour down some white and then I have a little cup here that I cut open and I'm going to put it down and pour through that. And also I'm going to put some silicone in the blue and the green, not in the metallics. So here we go. Let me just get set up here and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to spread my light out and I just wanted to also mention that this uh, company, I like, I like to try new things and then I like to pass the information on to you and in order for me to do that, I have to go and research. I, I read ab about who they are what their products are, what their products are used for. Their products, I think, are targeted more towards, you know, like painting walls and homes and their stuff for metal and there's all kinds of products that they sell. But a lot of companies don't know what we do as a community. And this product is a good thing for our community especially when it comes to acrylic paints that you don't have a wide selection well you have a wide selection of deco art and stuff like that but you know besides going to home depot and buying a gallon of tinted house paint this is the first company i've seen and they're truly truly nice folks and the prices are really reasonable so you guys really check them out metallicmart.com and i'm going to link it below so I'm going to just get right into it here so we can see what these beautiful colors do. So I'm going to spread some white around. I'll tell you one thing I can't wait for is to use that peacock blue in resin because that's going to be phenomenal. Just looking for a little uh, spatula here to spread this out. I haven't done a, an acrylic pour in a while. Just want a nice even coat. I know I have some lumps in my paint. This white paint has been in a squeeze bottle for some time, so I had to thin it out and tweak it a little bit, but it'll be fine. Also, um, the paints themselves, I did not have to add any water to any of them. The only one I did have to add water to was deco art, the folk art. But as far as Perfetto paints, no. The consistency between either the flow trawl and or the pouring medium is perfect. Perfect consistency. So what you're going to see me pour is just paint 
and either Floetrol or the uh, pouring medium. Sides I'll fuss with for just a second here. Just want to spread it out a little bit. If you have any questions, also you can contact um, Perfetto Paints. They are on Facebook. I'll link that also. Any questions about the products or what they do? But it's pretty straightforward. The wet stuff is good for, well, the acrylic paints are, are fine and uh, going to be fine in resin, too. They're all water-based, so you can use any of these colors that I'm showing in, you know, resin or acrylic pouring. All right, so here we go. I am excited. I have to figure out which silicone. I think I'll use the treadmill this time. Even though I feel I get better results. You know what? I'm going to go back with the KY. I always feel like I get better results with the KY. I'm going to off-center this a little bit so that I could slide it. So I'm going to put two drops in the phthalo blue and the phthalo green. That's it. I'm going to take the stick and go around a couple times only. And that's it. If you want nice, big, juicy cells, then stir it only a couple of times. If you want small, tiny cells, stir it a lot. All right, so now I'm going to start the first one I'm putting in. Of course, I dropped, dripped already on my surface here. First one will be the peacock blue. Or actually, I lied. First one will be a little bit of white. Then the blue. green deep purple hold the cup down Tammy <laughs> uh where was I? Phthalo blue. Gold. White. You know, maybe I'll move it a little bit. Look at that. If this isn't a mermaid, I don't know what is. Okay, I'm just moving it that way. And now I'm going to add in some more colors. Look at those. Look at those cells coming in. Oh my God.
zoom you guys way in so you could see what I'm doing. Wow. Okay. I'm going to start up here now. I'm going to keep twisting nice and slow. You know what? I may not even have to do any more paint. This is just awesome. Let me uh, finish moving this off of the canvas like that. Let me torch it really quick. And then I'm going to move it around. That is gorgeous. Those colors work amazing together. So I'm going to slowly try to move this a little bit. Sadly, I'll lose a lot of those beautiful cells. But it's just something you have to do. I mean, you can't leave all that paint on the uh, canvas. It's, and you know something, it's quite all right anyway because I have a lot of paint left. So if I want to pour a couple of ribbons or whatever, I can do that. My white paint was a lot thicker than the other paints. And that is my fault, but it's okay. Nothing to worry about. That is really, really pretty. So now what I'm going to do is... Take this cup again. No, actually, I'm going to do a uh, pour. A ribbon pour. I'm going to take my trusty scoop. And I'm just going to layer the paints in the scoop. And you know what, before I do the white, I want to add just a little more water to it. You can see the fractals forming here. Those are beautiful. I don't have much left, so, of the white. I think it is time to turn the light on. Okay, I'm ready to go now. <clears throat> Here is my little scoop. So like I was saying, I'm just going to layer the paints in it nice and slowly. Just like a slide.
I'm going to put a little bit more white to finish it off. Okay, so I am going to go through here and down this way. I'm going to start off of my board a little bit. That phthalo blue against the peacock blue is amazing. Hit it with the torch. And now I'm going to do a mini pour, a mini dirty pour. In a couple of spots. I have all this paint so I might as well use it. And then some white. My chunky white. All right, so I think I'm going to, I love this part right here. I think I'm going to come through this green area a little bit. Oh, maybe not, because there's a lot of green in the cup. Let me go over this way a little bit. I'm just going to literally pour it. Look at that magic happen. And then also through here. You just keep playing around with it until you get the image you like. Look at this. Too bad most of that's going to come off. That is beautiful. I definitely want some of that through here to break up this green. Okay. And there you have it, guys. I'm going to take you in for a close up. Okay, here we go. Do not mind those white lumps. Unfortunately, my paint needs to be replaced. That is no fault of anything else I use. Just that white. Look at that blue against the peacock blue against the phthalo blue. Amazing.
So yeah, I, I am truly liking these paints. So if you guys get a chance, go check them out. Perfetto Paints on Facebook. And it is metallicmart.com. I will link the information below. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great night and happy pouring.